welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a part of a small shop haul. So normally when I film my small shop hauls, I just kind of keep everything together in a basket and then I do a few shops at a time. But I actually need a couple of things out of this package and I really just want to look in this package. So I decided I would film this part and then when the rest of my stuff comes in, I'm waiting for a pen and I think a couple of trays. So when that stuff gets in, I'll just um, piece that into this um, as a second clip and then I'll upload it as one video. It's kind of a long-winded explanation. I'm sure you guys don't really care. <laughs> you just want to see what I have in these packages. So if you see different nails about halfway through this video, that's why. Let's get into it. So I'm going to start with this package here. This is good old trusty DP with sparklers. I needed a couple of things for some of my kits that are coming up the pipe in a couple of, like within the next month or two. So I decided to put in an order. So here is the business card. And there is all of their information. We also have a sparklers sticker and a starburst, the best color, pink. <laughs> all right. So I have some ABs, I have a crystal, and then I have some sparklers. Let me actually grab a tray so I can show you guys some of these. I'm just going to use this white boat here. Okay, so the reason I placed my order was because I am about to start, um, what is it called? abstract cat from diamond art club um the artist i believe is eve is i decided after looking at it that i wanted to replace all of the charted 3865 with ab um i thought i had some but it turns out i only had 3865 in rounds so i purchased two bags i'm hoping that will be enough um it should be but yeah the um, the cat's whiskers are 38.65, and I just thought those would be really cool in ABs. So I picked up two bags. That was the reason for my immediate purchase. Um, I won't show those ones in the tray. I'll show like the um, sparklers in the tray. And then I have a kit coming up in August for the claws and paws event with uh, painting with pities and Laura from Anxiety Art Adventures. So Brie from. Is it Diamond Painting with Pities or just Painting with Pities? I think it's Painting with Pities. So that's Brie. I'll link her channel down below. And Laura from Anxiety Art Adventures. I'm sure you all already know who she is, but I will link her as well. And it's a very, the kit that I purchased these for, it's very like grayscale, but I wanted to bring out the color in the eyes. So I already have one of the AB colors in my stash, but I picked out two of the others. They both have green funny um so let me know if you think you know what kit that might be it has been on my channel I did do an unboxing um but I'm really looking forward to working on that one so I picked up those for that kit and then I have a kit coming up next month so in July it's my cat trying to open the door that just scared the crap out of me oh my gosh okay <laughs> I'm home alone so when stuff like that happens I'm like ah um so I have a dye moon shop that I'll be working on next month. It won't be tied to any events. I'm just kind of working on whatever kits I want to work on in July. Um, I'll be doing cloudy seascape. So I wanted to add some extra ABs to that one. So I picked up uh, 3840 and 162. These are in the sky and in one of them's in the sky and one of them's in the water. I can't remember. And then I think that they didn't have the AB version of 3325, but I saw that they had the crystal. So this will also be possibly for Cloudy Seascape. That's what I purchased it with uh, in mind. But I thought maybe it would be fun to add a crystal into the water. I don't know. I'm going to mess around with it and see what happens. So those were are each for three kits that I have coming up soon. And then normally when I purchase, I like to order a couple of sparklers. Um, I am working on my sparkler collection. Um, so I do like to pick a few up. It kind of just makes it uh, worth my while. 
shipping and stuff. So the first sparkler that I picked up is Rainbow. I thought that would be appropriate for the month of June. Let's take a little peek at these. Ooh, ooh, those are pretty. Look at all those different colors, wow. And it, it looks like, like I'm sorry, I just pulled them out so I could look at them. It looks like they're just a different mixture of drills, but they are all the same. It's just how the light is hitting them. But those are really neat. Okay. I love the sparklers. And then I picked up Ombre Fuchsia. It's like cool. Let's see if I can get these to... Ooh, those look cool as well. They kind of have like a, they're like pink with a dark green, like an olive green shift. Sorry, my cat is still trying to break into this room. <laughs> Apparently she's very needy today. Oops. All right, so that's two. And then I picked up Chameleon. This is one that's been on my list for quite a while. I'm realizing I kind of picked up three similar, similar ones. Ooh, those are cool. They're like straight up green and then shift to that like pinky purple. Ooh, that's so cool. That's a cool one. And then one more. This one here is hot pink. Ooh, that one's really pretty. It's kind of like pinky red. I don't know if the red is picking up on camera. Luna, can you stop? <laughs> Sorry guys, you know my cats are wild. Well, the little one is wild. <laughs> so that is my order from DP with sparklers. I picked up four sparklers and then some ABs for some kits that I have coming up very soon within the next month or two. So that's exciting. And then this next order is from a new to me shop. Um, it is from an Etsy store called Miss Minder. Now I did take out my invoice, but I don't think... Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I did not see, I hope I didn't just show my address. I did not see um, a business card or anything. So we did get a little note that just says, thank you, Laura, enjoy. The owner's name is Jenny, but here is the shop name, missminder.etsy.com. Okay, so I don't quite know how I found this shop. Um, it's funny, since I've ordered, I have seen a couple people share minders from the shop, but before that, I had not. Um, I think I was just looking for minders on Etsy and her page popped up. So let me show you the thing that first got me very, very excited. So if you guys, you may or may not know, I have two cats, as I was just speaking about, and their names are Neville and Luna, uh, both characters from the Harry Potter series. Um, Neville started it all. I had him first and then when we decided to get another cat we decided to name her Luna which I was shocked that my boyfriend was okay with that because I had named Neville like I had had Neville for about a year before I even met my boyfriend so but he was he was all about it which was very exciting for me so the first minder that I found was Neville. <laughs> it's so hard to find Neville items. Like I have a Neville Funko Pop, um, but it's really hard to find cute little Neville items because even though he was one of the like core six characters in the series, they don't have a lot of stuff for him. So when I found Neville, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to place this order. So I found that one first and then I was like, well, 
I can't get a Neville without a Luna. So she actually had two different Lunas. She had Luna in her robes and then she had this lion hat Luna, which made me laugh because our Luna is cuckoo crazy. So I was like, obviously I need to get this one. Plus there is a Diamond Art Club Harry Potter kit that Luna has the, um, the lion head on, or maybe she doesn't have it on in the picture, but it's on the piece. Um, I don't have that one in my stash, but maybe after this, I'll have to get it. These are really cool because they're just like, they're rubber. Um, pretty strong magnets. Let me see. These were $4.25. So super cute. They had so many characters. Like if you are a fan of, a, I guess you could consider a more like obscure Harry Potter character. Like they had, um, Lupin and they had a whole bunch of different ones so I will link that Etsy shop down below if you are looking for Harry Potter minders check them out and then as I was you know of course once you find a shop that has something you like you have to keep looking so I was looking in her shop and she had this adorable set of princess minders now <laughs> I actually have a different set of princess minders already it's like the princess with their prince or their you know it's the couple together so when i saw this set i was like do i need another set of princesses the answer is yes because this is the princess with their like animal so oh these are so cute and at first i was like just get a couple you only need a couple but then she had the option to buy the entire set and i was like oh yeah okay <laughs> So the first couple is we have Tiana with the frog and then we have Belle with Beast. Aren't these so cute? I'm going to keep them on the card so they don't all snap together. Oh gosh, what is Mulan's? Oh no, why can't I think of? That's going to bother me. So we have Merida with her bow and then we have Mulan with. Oh gosh, hold on. Guys, how did I forget it was Mushu? As soon as I turned the camera off, I was like, it's Mushu, you dummy. I didn't even have to look it up. I, I was like, oh yeah, it's Eddie Murphy. <laughs> like, okay, no, it's Mushu. So cute. I just finished um, my Mulan painting for the princess along. All right, let's see here. What else, what else? What else do we have? So we have Mulan, not Mulan, oh my gosh, Moana and Pua. Pua is so cute. Pua is my little icon for Disney Plus, if you were curious. And then we have Atlas and the White Rabbit, super cute. Yes, I bought the entire set. I know this is ridiculous. I don't even know if I have room on my binder board for all of these. I'll make room. We have... Snow White and some bluebirds. And this is, who is this? It's not Rapunzel. Is it Rapunzel? I guess it's Rapunzel. Hold on, I'm gonna make a fool of myself. No, it's not Rapunzel because there's a Rapunzel one in here. Oh, Aurora, this is Aurora. Guys, I need to brush up on my princesses with some little squirrels. We have, Ooh, these ones are cute really nice packaging as well all of these they're all in sets of two and they're all wrapped in bubble wrap so we have uh pocahontas and jasmine i love this one she's like sleeping isn't it so cute oh. <laughs> and then we have looks like ariel is in this one you say ariel or ariel serious questions Oh, and there's an extra one on this one. I also purchased this really cute little metal minder. I just thought it was adorable. Sometimes I like having these neutral, not necessarily like themey minders, but they're still really pretty. I try to match everything. I try to be super matchy matchy, but it doesn't always happen. We have Ariel slash Ariel <laughs> and Flounder. And then we have a really cute little tank. I do have most of the princess panels, so I thought these would be really cute to work with 
um, as options for those ones. Some of them I've already completed, but that's okay. So we have Anna and Elsa. Look at, look at little Olo. I have completed the um, Elsa princess panel as well as the Merida one. But isn't this so cute? Okay, this is the last one. I know I was a little crazy. Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Here we go. So this one we have Cinderella and Rapunzel. Super cute. Uh, she had some really, really adorable minders in her shop. So definitely go check them out if you are in the market for some cover minders. Um, they were pretty affordably priced. She actually messaged me a couple of times because her mailers came in late. Um, so she messaged me to let me know that she was having an issue with that and she would send my order out as soon as she could. And then she actually messaged me again after they were shipped um, or after I had received them. Uh, she messaged me to give me some tips on how to handle uh, the magnets, which I think is great. Obviously, I have a massive minder collection, but she doesn't know that. So I think that that's a really cool follow up customer service thing to do. Um, so yeah, definitely check out Miss Minder and I've done a bunch of videos with DP with Sparklers. I have, um, how I store my special drills from DP with Sparklers. I have a small shop spotlight. I'll link those videos down below. Um, but I will see you guys in the next clip. Bye for now. I'm back. <laughs> As promised with more than I thought I would be with. I, what have I done? So... Um, a couple of these things I had been waiting for when I filmed the first part of this video and the rest I purchased pretty much mostly during the 4th of July weekend. Um, a lot of people were doing sales in their small shops and yeah, I just, I can't, I can't be stopped. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get into it. What do I want to start with? I don't even know. Um, I did open these so that I could um, pull out any invoices and stuff with my address. So I'm going to start with, what am I going to start with? I think I'll start with washi tape. I actually have two orders of washi tape. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm out of control. I am out of control. So let's move this stuff off to the side here. I've got some trays. I have some pens. I have um, some special drills. I've got it all. So let's start with washi tape. So I have two orders here. Um, my favorite place to purchase washi tape is from Amanda Michelle Designs. She has both an Etsy store and her own Shopify uh, website. She was running a, I believe it was, was it 20 or 24? Five. She was running a flash sale and she posts on obviously both shops, but a lot of her newer stuff is um, on her website as opposed to her Etsy. But sometimes I have an easier time finding stuff on her Etsy shop. I think it's just because I'm used to shopping there, um, but I absolutely recommend both shops. I love going to her new releases section on her website and then... I am one of those people that I'll just be browsing Etsy and I'll just put a bunch of stuff in my cart from different shops and um, I had seen some washi tape that I had there uh, that I didn't really want to hunt down on the website. Just again, I'm lazy so it is what it is. So this first package here is from her Etsy shop and then the box is from her website. Uh, let's see what do I have in here. So I have... Uh, her business card and there is a code on the back if you purchase from her she sends you a coupon code for your next purchase I don't think I'm going to be able to fit everything in the frame uh, as I'm opening yet so we'll see what I can do and then she always sends a little like ephemera pack oh my god that's so cute so we have some stickers little kitty cat just a bunch of really cute little pieces. Her shop is definitely more geared towards like planning, um, but she has awesome washi tape. So I do, I do love me Amanda Michelle designs. Okay, so what do we have in here? 
I was on the hunt for a couple of tapes for some projects that I have coming up and then I just found a couple of other things. So this tape here is actually a repeat for me. Um, if you have seen my post review for Sunny Road to the Sea, this is the tape that I used and I just loved it so much that I wanted to pick up another roll. And then she has this line of constellation do i have these the right way on floral so i picked up all three colorways so she has a light pink a white and a blue and these are just so pretty her foiled washi is like top tier <laughs> in my opinion um it just works really well for me so i picked up those three i picked up this really cute foiled bow washi And then I picked up this here. This is like a, I don't know if you guys can see like the sheen. I picked this one up for Water Fairy. I think it'll look really pretty with that kit from Diamond Art Club. And then I picked this pink and blue shimmery one up for um, Cloudy Seascape from diamond shop they are both kits i'll be working on this month in july so i thought they were really pretty now the fun thing about her shop is she makes her own like designs her own washi tape and then she carries some of like the larger brands so you can absolutely find something um if you have like a theme in mind or a color in mind she has everything now i purchased this order like i said from her website um she was running a sale on some tapes and then she had the, I think it, maybe it was 20%. So some of these ended up being like $1.50. So there is a lot of tapes in here. I use them. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, every single kit, probably 95% of the kits that I share have her washi tape on the outside. So I did open this because um, I wanted to make sure there wasn't an invoice in here. So it comes really beautifully packaged. I love this tissue paper. All right, and I have a, I have some different stuff in this this one here. So I have another uh, repeat purchase. This floral with the like dripping gold foil. I have almost completely used a roll of this because it's just so beautiful. So I did pick up another one of that. So that is another repeat purchase. And I think I have another one in here. Maybe not. I thought I ordered a couple, but that's okay. So I have a couple of Halloween tapes. These ended up being like $1.50 and it is coming to be that time of year thought the little ghosts were super cute. We have some black cats, some pumpkins with candles. I purchased this really cute <laughs> striped with black cat outlined in gold foil. I have a kit in mind for that one for August. Here is another like fall Halloween one. It's some really pretty like watercolor pumpkins. Uh, these are kind of like Valentine's y. So we have this is like a mustardy yellow. The camera's not picking it up perfectly. I just adore that color. And then this one is rose gold. I do have a planner. Um, I don't decorate it like I used to, <laughs> but um, you know, these aren't necessarily all four kits. I will use them um, in my planner as well. This is a mermaid tail. And then we have another like skinnier bow washi. Uh, this is a variation of, she has another um, like star and moon dangle one. It's black with silver foil. And when I saw that she was doing this colorway with the gold, I thought that was super, super cute. This one here is it's a message in a bottle if you guys can see that I just thought it was so beautiful I don't know 
exactly if I have a kit that this would go with, but I just thought it was really pretty even if I just use it in my planner. We have some seashells. I have another variation of this that you may have seen on my channel. It's like, um, like a really pretty, not maroon, um, but like a muted dusty pink with silver foil seashells, but I thought this one was really cute for some of the summer kits that I have coming up. Uh, I have a leopard print, which I, <laughs> I'm still, I can't get over the leopard print. I love it. And then another bow. This is one of her branded washi tapes. I didn't pick up too many of them this, this go around, but she does have some really beautiful tapes. And then it looks like this is a freebie. Um, there's a little sticker that says, thank you for your support. And this looks like it might be kind of wintry. Looks like maybe some berries and, and branches there. Really pretty. It'll be Christmas before we know it. We have a lollipop. Oh yes, this is another duplicate. Uh, this one here, I think I have this one already, but it was really affordable with the sale and then the coupon code. Uh, so I picked up another another roll of this one. So a couple of duplicates in this order. Um, I love I love my washi tape. Okay, let's see. So I picked up some some stickers um, as well. I love her little packs of stickers. They're super cute. And these are kitty cats. I think these were just like labeled as like emotion cats or something. <laughs> so I got some clapping hands, smiley face, a crying face, me. <laughs> uh, these are so cute. I love sending these out with like when I do packages for people or just putting them in my planner. My nieces love going through my bin of stickers from all of my small shop hauls and stickers like this. So these are super cute. I picked up another cat themed set, of course. I know you're shocked. This little pack here. Oh, they're so cute. Look at the little kitties. Looks like a squirrel. <laughs> Me. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, super cute. I love little stickers like this. I actually put some of her little stickers on different types of my containers just to kind of jazz them up a little bit. And then I did pick up two sets of Christmas stickers. So over the holidays, I tend to diamond paint a little differently. I like to kind of um, decorate my release papers and sometimes, actually the last two years I've done the uh, advent style. So it's kind of just fun to have some Christmassy themed. These are cute. Oh my gosh, look at this wreath. So pretty. Um, so I like to take these stickers. Oh my gosh, that's such a beautiful sticker. Looks like Hedwig. <laughs> um, these are really pretty. I don't even get like super Christmassy vibes from these, which is, is cool. Um, so I would, oh my God, the gingerbread house. So what I did, if you followed me last year during the holidays is I did, I covered my whole painting, a couple of paintings and release papers. And then I bought some seasonal stickers, put them on and then labeled them one through 24. Um, so yeah, super fun. She has some really great stickers. I'm not gonna open this pack because these ones are very large, but you can see on the back, look at the little reindeer. I love Christmas, oh my gosh. Look at the little garland, what? These are so cute. So you will, I'm sure, see all of these make a return to my channel this holiday season. Okay, so let me get all this, oh my gosh, so much washi tape. It has been months. Um, if you guys watch my month in review videos, you may or may not know that I keep track of my purchases um, in a like Google Doc and <clears throat> I actually went back and looked at the last time I purchased washi tape and I'm pretty sure it was March. So it's been a while. She's had a bunch of new releases that I wanted to pick up. So that's what I did. Okay, next up I have some pens. Now this shop here is a new to me shop and actually, unfortunately they are, they're closing, um, which is a bummer. It's always sad to see small shops um, 
make the decision to close, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't know the circumstances of this, uh, this particular shop. Now, the shop is Cosmic Pens. They make clay, um, like polymer clay pens, and everything in their shop is 50% off. Now, at the time of filming this, there are still pens available, um, but they are going rather quickly. Um, at 50% off, they are priced at $5. So it's definitely, if you're a polymer clay, oh my gosh, look at these cases. These are so cool. If you are a fan of polymer clay pens, I would definitely head over there and check them out. Um, I only ordered four and was sent, oh, I'm missing one. I was sent six. Like, what? So that's pretty cool. Um, I purchased these with the intent of, there's one or two that I want to keep for myself, but I also thought um, some of you may prefer lighter weight pens. And I do have some giveaways coming up soon here and over on my Instagram page. So I thought I would pick up a few pens from her. Like I said, I purchased four, but she sent me six. So thank you so much. Also, this particular shop is located in my state of New York, um, very close to me, uh, town slash city wise. So, you know, I wanted to just kind of show, show some support. So here is the first one. Now, this one I did purchase. I will try to remember which ones I purchased and which ones were sent, but it's this really beautiful neon. These are so smooth. What? I have other polymer clay pens that I purchased when I started um, buying accessories, but these are so smooth and they're super lightweight. So I've been struggling with my hands falling asleep. I'm pretty sure I have carpal tunnel, which I don't even want to talk about. Um, my mother had double carpal tunnel, tunnel surgery done on both of her hands when I was younger and it was just so awful. So uh, I have started you know, using, mixing my pens up a little bit more than I ever have, just to kind of get that constant change of, you know, movement in my hand. So here is another one. I believe I purchased this one because I thought the colors were really pretty. I know that um, polymer clay pens aren't for everybody, but again, I just thought these were really pretty and would make nice giveaway prizes. Ooh, oh, there's a tip in here. I don't know that I purchased this one. Was there an invoice? Okay, I can't get the tip out of that one, but there is a multi-placer in the bottom. Really pretty blue and white. And if you've never seen a polymer clay pen, what they do is they just build around a regular uh, diamond painting pen. Really beautiful. I love that one. Look at this, look at the pouches, so cool. Okie dokie, let's see. Ooh, I did, I believe I purchased this one. This one's so pretty, look at the bright colors. And there is also a tip in the bottom of that package or pouch, I guess. All right, so this is gonna be a long video, <laughs> sorry. Let me in, let me in. What's happening? Okay, got it. Got it. Ooh, this one's pretty. Did I buy, did I pick this one? I don't remember. <laughs> pretty pastel colors. And then the final one. Ooh, rainbow. It's a little muddied, but these are so smooth. I can't get over how smooth these are. Uh, so yes, these will be around. I'm gonna keep a couple for myself, but I will probably, they will pop up in some giveaways in the near-ish future. So keep an eye out if you're interested with that. Uh, next, I have another pen. This one is from Butterfly Effect Wears, which is one of my absolute favorite places to purchase diamond painting pens. Um, they're just so cool. They're unique. 
um, the owners pour their own blanks. It's just very, very beautiful, beautiful pens. So I actually showed this pen in my month in review video. Uh, it, this one's been hanging around for quite a while. So we have their business card, John and Abby, a really pretty rainbow butterfly sticker. A Werther's, which I will 100% be eating. And this pen is Mermaid, Mermaid Magic, I think. Look at this pen. Look at the sparkle. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. I'm thinking about using this one for the Water Fairy, which is going to be my next kit. I think the colors, if I, I haven't looked closely enough at the kit in a, in a bit, but I think the colors will work really well with that one. So isn't this just so pretty? Look at the sparkle. Love it. So yes, definitely check out Butterfly Effect Wears if you are in the market for some pens. <coughs> oh, excuse me, because they are beautiful. Okay, I'm going to do this bigger box. And then we'll get into the other ones. So this is actually a new shop to me. I've seen these trays going around on Instagram. Um, the first person I saw post about them was Raxify. I hope, I, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, that is an amazing, amazing Instagram page. Accessories galore. I will um, put, the, put their account name down below so that you guys can go check them out. Give them a follow. Their page is so aesthetically pleasing, especially if you love uh, diamond painting accessories. And then I saw on Raxify's recommendation, um, Cindy Schwind purchased some as well. And again, amazing Instagram page. Please go give her a follow. Um, beautiful pens and trays and stuff that she shares. So I was like, Okay, I'm gonna hop on board. <laughs> so these are uh, trays from Tori's Diamond Tools. I did open this just to make sure I didn't have an invoice and I could not see one. So let's let's do this. Love a little card. I'm just gonna open this so I make sure there's not a business card. Or there is a business card, not an invoice. So it's Tori's Diamond Tools. I will link her Etsy shop down below. And it just says, thank you for supporting my small business. I really hope you enjoy your trees. I've included a diamond cover minder. Please let me know if you have any feedback or if there is any way I can improve your diamond painting experience. So I love that. I love little handwritten cards from small shops. It's awesome. Got some, okay, so this must be the cover minder. Oh, that's so cute. Looks like it's made of resin. It's a little diamond. Super cute. You guys know I love my cover minders. And then, okay, these are stoppers for some of the trays that I have in here. So let's take these out. Now they offer a few different styles, sizes, I believe. I picked up two. I don't know if, I can't remember if this was all of them. Um, but let's take a look at these ones first. Tons of colors to choose from for these trays. I will, again, I will link the Etsy shop down below. Ooh, okay. Ooh, these look really nice. So I remember this color is called pumpkin, which I thought, you know, fall is coming quicker than I would like. So this will definitely get some use. And then I want to say this one was called like pine or something. So I am noticing a little bit of a funky print on the top here, but that would not interfere with these ridges. These ridges look super nice. They look deep, which I really enjoy. Um, I have some special drills up in these packages here, so we will give these a couple of shakeouts. And let's see. And these are the stoppers for these trays. I think they go, yeah, so they go like that. Is that right? Or do they go like this? Maybe they go like that. I don't remember. Um, but you could put a little label. I can't, I'll have to look back. I don't know if they go like this or the other way. But these look really nice. They're very, like, <laughs> knocking on a tray. But they, they're they very sturdy. Um, there's some trays where you kind of get them and they have a little bit of give. give but these look really nice. 
So we've got those two. And then they also have some smaller trays, which just look so cute to me. I do not remember the colors on these. Uh, sorry about that. But, oh my gosh, stop. These are so cute. Look at that. It's so adorable. Again, you have another little stopper here. I'm an idiot, so I can never figure out how they go. Maybe it goes that way. And then the top just slides right on. So cute. I have two cats, so <laughs> trays with tops are, are very necessary. So we've got that really beautiful blue. We have a magenta pink. Oops. And then we have this really pretty minty turquoise color. Will this match? I don't know. Does that match? I think it does. Maybe I'll try this little tray for the water fairy. So those are trays from Tori's Diamond Tools. I absolutely love trying out new trays, so that'll be really fun to work with. And then I kind of have an obnoxious amount of, spe of special drills. So let's start with diamond painting drills because I have purchased many, many times from, that, from them. This is the June sampler. I haven't purchased the July one yet. I'm slapping, but that's okay. So we have the June sticker. And if I remember correctly, these... This set is pretty, I believe they're neutrals. So a uh, big, big, big shout out to Alyssa from diamondpaintingdrills.com. I totally, totally messed up my order and she helped me, <laughs> she canceled it so I could reorder the correct thing. I was a hot mess that day. I actually did the same thing the following day on a different website. I don't know <laughs> what was wrong with me, but thank you Alyssa for helping me um, sort to that issue out. So these are the June samplers. I always buy them in round and square and you can see the color palette here. This was kind of geared towards like a Father's Day sampler, so more like neutrally colors, uh, really beautiful, beautiful colors for landscapes. If you do a lot of landscapes, she still has these colors on her site, so I would recommend checking them out. So we have 433, uh, 3064, 3864, 842, 3042, 3861, 648, 453, 310, 3371, 535, and 318. Just taking a quick look here, and it looks like the colors are the same for round and square. Sometimes they differ, but this set looks to be the exact same. And yeah, these colors are just really really beautiful and I think would look uh, would work great for some of the landscapes that you may work on. So that is diamond painting drills. I've gone over these kits so many times. Um, I also have a small shop spotlight on this particular shop. So if you're interested, I'll leave uh, that link down below where I go through, you know, the containers and everything. But since I've done it so many times, I just thought I would show you guys the colors. Now, this final shop is another new to me shop. And it is another special drill supplier, and it is Shimmering Canvases. So I have been promising you guys a, a special drill video series for quite a while. And I had mentioned in the last time I brought it up that I was waiting to test out one more shop. And Shimmering Canvases is that final shop. So I actually made a purchase. <laughs> I had a 10% off coupon. Everything was good. And then the following day, she released a 30% off coupon for um, the holiday weekend. So ugh, I was so upset with myself, but it's fine. Uh, some of these drills are for the Water Fairy. Uh, so I can test them out before I recommend them to you guys. And then some are just um, <clears throat> different styles of sample sets that she offers. And a couple are for kits that I know I have coming up down the line that I wanted some special drills to work with. So this one I have actually been into because I made a mistake on my order and I wanted to make sure that I got the correct thing so I could address that if I needed to, but 
everything was great. Um, the owner was able to fix the mistake before it shipped out. So thank you so much. I don't, I promise I don't always make issues. Like I had two, two orders that I made mistakes on <laughs> and thankfully the owners were great, got back to me and were able to correct my mistake, not theirs. They didn't have to. So thank you. Um, <clears throat> so I picked up, do I have a business card? Yes, I do. So shimmering canvases. They have an Etsy shop and a website and an app. Um, they're, ooh, and a Facebook group. I'll have to join that. A um, On their Etsy shop, they sell hand-turned pens. Um, however, prices are different on their shop to their Etsy shop. Uh, their website and their Etsy shop have different pricing. I'm sure that has something to do with Etsy's... Ugh, ugh. I love Etsy, but sometimes... <laughs> Uh, I don't know how you guys how you guys keep everything straight, but uh, prices are more expensive on Etsy. However, you do have more. Oh, my cats are fighting. Hey, stop it! Stop. Ay ay ay. Um, you do have. I don't know. They're just more expensive on Etsy. I don't know why. Not my business, but I purchased through the website anyway. I purchased the turquoise and aqua sampler sets in round so here's what they look like these are glass jars so keep that in mind uh one of them came with branding and the other did not but that is fine and you get these little vials i cannot remember how many drills they advertise um, in these little pots but it looks like a pretty decent amount Aren't these so pretty? So the round sets of four, you get two ABs and two crystals. So here, I don't remember which one's turquoise and which one's aqua. Uh, there is a repeat color. The 964 crystal is in both, but it's a beautiful color, so that's fine. <laughs> so there are two in this set and two in this set that I will be using on the Water Fairy. So I'm excited to work with these. And then they offer square AB sets, sets of four, just like this in this same size, but they have a couple other options for square sample sets. So uh, I'll be right back. Guys. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I had to mom out my two cats. <laughs> it's early on a Sunday morning, they were bickering. Is that really different than a house with human children? Probably not. Okay, <laughs> so we have the small square sampler set. This comes with two, four, six of these really tiny, look at how cute these jars are, oh my gosh. These really tiny jars. So this is the gray set. So 762, 535, 317. I love the gray ABs, they are some of my favorite. We have two crystals, so 318 and 413. And then, I don't know, what would you call this? I guess another crystal. This one's in white mocha. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So we are going to test out the trays from Tori's uh, Diamond Tools in a second. I just want to get through these so I can show them to you. So super cute little set of drills. And then they also offer a large square sampler set. So we have, I picked it up in yellow because I do, the yellow and the gray ABs are my favorites. I don't know why, they just are. So we have four yellow ABs, 307, 727, 973, 445. And then we have two crystals, 729 and 727. And then we have this really pretty one in Sunflower. So that was my first order. And then when they released their 30% off code, I decided to go back and pick up a couple other sets. Now these ones, I actually placed the order correctly. So I didn't have to take a peek inside the package. So they do all come wrapped in bubble wrap. And I picked up three more sets in rounds. Oh gosh. Come on. 
There we go. So I picked up the pink set. Ooh, these are pretty. Um, what do I have these in mind for? I believe I've been thinking about adding a couple of these crystals into Cloudy Seascape, which is a kit I'll be working on at the end of July. So we have 818, 963, and then 603 and 3326 crystal. Look at this crystal. Such a pretty shade of pink. And then I picked up two blues. Why did I pick up blue? I was away and I was so bummed that I was away because I was like, oh, I just need to look at those canvases. But why did I pick up blue? Oh, uh, no, because I think that's a square. Well, it doesn't really matter, I guess, because I already bought them. They will be used. So we have one of the blue sets. Ooh, look at that 820 crystal. Beautiful. So we have 793 AB, 820 AB, 820 crystal, and 793 crystal. And the other blue is 800 AB, 3842 AB, 3807 crystal, and 792 crystal. So I went a little crazy, obviously, as I always do, on shimmering canvases. Let me know your thoughts if you have tried them. Um, <clears throat> obviously, Oh, I'm losing my voice. Obviously, at the time of filming this, I have not tried them yet, but I will be using them very soon. Okay, let's shake these out, and then I'm going to let you guys go, because this is going to be a very, very long video. Uh, what color do I want to look at? I kind of want to look at this 964. So we'll put that in the orange. Ooh, pretty. And then let's look at let's look at one of these yellow. We'll do an AB. These little vials are so cute. Okay, so this is the tray from Tori's Diamond Tools. I probably should have done one in there, a little small tray. Ooh. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to work with this tray because maybe it just doesn't work well with squares i mean it, it shakes out fine but i tend to like to just give it a little tip so i can get things to line up uh, but we will i'll work with it and let you guys know in a future video um not super impressed with that shake out but that's okay and then for the round i am spilling i've been <clears throat> working with a tray that has larger <laughs> like taller sides so I feel like the rounds did shake out a little bit better. Um, eh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I will definitely report back to you guys with, with some more info on those. But let me do a shake out in the little... These are so cute in these little trays here. Let's do... So the sides on these ones are definitely taller, which I feel like gives me a little bit more freedom to give it a pretty good shake. Um, wow, these these ABs from Shimmering Canvas are very pretty, super sparkly. Um, so I do think that this one shook out a little better than these, these larger trays, but I'll report back <laughs> on everything. So I'm finally done. <laughs> I purchased a lot and I need to get back on track, but there, you know, there's always new things that I want to try that I want to share with you guys. Um, so if you have a small shop or you have a favorite small shop that you would like me to check out, please let me know down below. I love supporting small businesses in the community and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.